I know it's going to get brought up. I know H3 made the same uh, video type on the same topic, really. I saw this video and I was getting ready to like actually make this video and then like four hours later, H3, H3 makes a video on it. So I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit pissed, but I'm just going to put it out anyway. It doesn't really matter all that much. I'm sure it was going to be addressed. So yeah, I mean, I know that this video was made pretty much by H3, H3, but I'm, I'm still going to put my, my version of the video out. So anyways, uh, thank you guys for understanding and uh, let's just get into the video. I've been trying to tell everyone, man. I've been trying to tell everyone that Fortnite is is just destroying everyone, man. I mean, it's so it's like the new heroin, dude. It's insane. I haven't stopped playing Fortnite since I don't I can't even remember when Fortnite came out, okay? I just I I don't know. It's been a long time. Anyways, okay, so I think we've all been very aware of the media recently and like, I don't know pretty much the last 20 years just being completely ignorant when it comes to video games and the effects of video games and it's just all it really comes down to is like old people running the media have no idea about video games so every time that they try to do something like what you're about to see it just turns out like cringily terrible okay so the video i'm about to show you was actually aired it's called uh what would you do teenager ignores parents while playing Fortnite. It's some sort of like Good Morning America cover story or something. Basically, it's a way for the media to take like a new quote unquote new entertainment form and like use it to scare parents because kids like playing Fortnite. So of course, you know, it's like the next just like huge addiction. Oh my God, kids are enjoying something. Kids are enjoying something that we don't know that much about. I I'm not aware of what kids are doing nowadays. It it's gotta be bad, man. Fortnite, it's gotta be addicting, man. It's gotta be bad. I don't understand it, man. The, the world is a joke at this point. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this guys. And we're just gonna, you know, go piece by piece. So... Esports, they've taken the world by storm. Yeah, esports are taking the world by storm because, well, they're entertaining to watch. New details on that deadly shooting at a video game competition. An esporting tournament turned deadly last month in Jacksonville, Florida. I knew for a fact that it was going to happen. I knew they were going to bring it up in some way, shape, or form. If you guys don't know what it's about, uh, there was a Madden tournament in Jacksonville, Florida, I think last August, where a player pretty much just pulled his gun out and, and committed a mass shooting. Of course, it's just been ever since then a way for the media to make it out like video games or just this mind-altering substance that just turn you into an evil demon. You know what I'm saying? It's it's ridiculous, man. The the, the media is a joke. With games like Madden, Cover me. Call of Duty, and Fortnite grabbing the attention of gamers worldwide. Neither, actually, no. None of the three games you just listed are top esports. Okay, you, you didn't even list the most relevant esports. You just picked three popular game franchises and said, well, this must be all esports really is. You literally could not have picked three worse examples of esports. Many wonder about the downsides to gaming. I think there's plenty more important things in the world that we should be focusing on the downsides of rather than playing video games. I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't think, I'm not trying to sit here and say like there is no problems with like video game addiction and like constantly playing games, but which one would you consider worse? The ongoing opiate epidemic in the United States or some kids who really enjoy Fortnite and choose to play that for a couple hours a night? Which one's worse? I don't know about you, but I think, uh, you know, the one that's causing violent crime to raise in certain communities, the one that's causing drug addictions to raise in certain communities, overdose rates and stuff, I, I think that I think that's the worst one. Then again, if, if these people were watching it, they probably think I'd be talking about Fortnite because for some reason they act like video games are like the devil. For example, where a young girl became so addicted, she wet herself rather than take bathroom breaks. Yeah, it must be Fortnite's fault, man. It must be Fortnite's fault that this nine-year-old child pissed herself while playing video games because her parents wouldn't make her get off the game and, you know, attend to her bodily functions. Maybe the parents should uh, sue Epic Games for making a game so addicting that they couldn't parent their child right and that, you know, the kid is, you know, so deranged that she'd rather literally sit in her own urine, that she'd rather play video games than tend to pissing. You know what I'm saying? That that must be the parents' fault, not not the game. Oh wait, I forgot. No, that that's not. I, I forget. We we keep living in this world now where parents are not supposed to take any form of accountability. And as we've heard this week, some parents are turning to the internet in search of support. Isn't that a little bit hypocritical? Isn't that funny? You know, they're, they're making this whole thing about kids turning to gaming and the internet, or a mixture of the two, to get away from all their problems in real life and quote unquote becoming addicted. Then you have parents who were too scared to actually be parents turning to the internet to do the same thing with others. 
I, I just, I find that funny. My son plays, um, probably several hours a day. Several hours a day, huh. All right. Well, here, here's what I've always thought, okay? Which would you rather your kid be doing? Would you rather him be sitting at home playing Fortnite with his friends in his room? Completely fine. You know, he's okay, right? He, he's doing okay in school, hopefully. He's not out getting in trouble. He's just at home playing video games. Or would you rather him and his friends be out running the streets, acting like a bunch of fucking idiots, committing crime and getting themselves in trouble? You know, knocking, knocking up girls. Which would you rather? That several hours a day sounds like a really teething addiction for your son. I, I feel really bad for you. It's almost like maybe if you took his video games from him and made him go outside or something like, I don't know. Maybe he wouldn't play video games as much. If you witnessed a kid... Seriously, Ashton, can you please put the computer down? Oh, you just made me lose. Neglecting his parents over a game of Fortnite. Number one, he's got an iPad. He doesn't have a computer. See, this exactly right here proves just how disconnected the people behind this are from technology, gaming, etc. Okay, that you just called an iPad a computer. It reminds me of like the old man in the memes like, put down them goddamn Game Boys and you know, like, come on now. And another thing I find funny is they're trying to act like it's only teenagers and kids who sit on their phones and shit when they're out in public. Do you know how many adults I see when I go out into stores or when I go out to eat with my family and friends who are just sitting there swiping through their phone on Facebook or, you know, on the internet, reading news articles, anything. It's not only kids, addiction to technology, let alone video games. There's 45 year old women out there playing Candy Crush eight hours a day, but you won't make anything about them. I have to start over. What would you do? Um, well, if I had a huge problem with my son playing his iPad at the table when we're out to eat, which I wouldn't because it's nonsensical to get really that upset over that, unless he's like, you know, not, I guess, responding to people. I mean, if he's just sitting there minding his, his own business before the food's there and whatnot, honestly, what's the big deal? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, if I had a problem with it, I think my first step would probably be to tell him to get off of the game. Hi. Oh, thank you so much for coming back. Our cameras are rolling at the Royal Coach Diner in the Bronx, New York. And while Josh and Angela are ready to order... May I have a Diet Coke and no lemon? Their son, Ashton, is a bit distracted. Ashton, what do you want to drink, honey? I don't care. Ashton, put the game down and order your food. You know, can we just have one minute? Yeah, I'm no so problem. Sorry. No, no worries. Ashton. Ashton. Okay, so he responded with, I don't care, when asked what to drink. So why not at that point, did you, why did you just not say, like, a Coke will be fine? You know, that's just, that seems like that would be okay. I mean, that, that's what he said. I mean, he doesn't care what he wants to drink, so why not just order him literally anything instead of making more of a scene? Or what you could do is take the goddamn iPad from him, which, you know, that's what any sensical parent would do. Instead of, Ashton, you need to put the game down, buddy. You gotta get off the game. Hey, mommy wants you to order your drink, please. This video just does a horrible job altogether and just like actually trying to make it look that bad. Like you can very clearly tell that they're trying to make the games out to be like some sort of like new heroin addiction, but they just failed so bad. Like they're just so out of touch. Ashton, your mother's talking to you and you put the game down. What? Hey, don't talk to your dad like that. I'm just saying. If my, if I had spoken to my dad in that way, when he asked me to put my phone down, I'm pretty sure that would have not been the response I had gotten. And you know what? I'm pretty sure that's the same with most of you too. This video shouldn't have been about how bad gaming is. It should have just been about how bad we can make parents look because they just can't do their job as a parent. Have you ever heard of Fortnite? Yes. Oh my gosh, you do? Why don't you mind your own business? Like this family, number one, is not speaking to you at all. Number two, you don't have the right to even like intervene in that conversation. And then of course the kid, he's gonna of course say, oh, it's addicting because if he said anything else, they wouldn't have included what he had to say. Honestly, I'm more surprised he wasn't like, I can't stop playing it. Like I, I just shit my pants every time I gotta go because I can't stop playing the game. My mom sometimes comes in my room and I've got this crazed look in my eyes because I haven't eaten in days. I dropped out of school in the third grade so I could play Fortnite. We like Fortnite. I love Fortnite. We and play in Fortnite. I like Fortnite. It's what? It's addicting to How kids. How do you know that? 
iPads. I don't play it on mobile. How do you know that? We're only making a video about how your whole generation's addicted to video games. How would you know about Fortnite? Yeah, it, it's almost like everyone who plays video games isn't addicted to their iPad and is just completely disconnected from society like your son. Isn't that insane to think that maybe not all kids playing Fortnite or even all people playing video games in general aren't a bunch of crazed addicts who can't stop playing video games? That's just wild to think, right? So how come you're not playing your games? It's like, just take it. I don't like him just stare at the wall. You know what, I think he's right. No, I just no, started no, no. that game. You know what, he's right, Dad. he's right. I think it's sad that this kid is a better parent than both of these actors are actually supposed to be. And if gaming is actually this much of a problem for so many kids, apparently this kid at this age is already a better parent than most parents. Isn't that crazy to think that if you just take the access to his video game away from him, that he can't use the game as a weapon against you? That, that's wild. I would have never have thought that, man. What a realistic scenario, man. Th this happens every day. You know how many times I've ever seen something like this happen? Maybe twice, okay? Maybe twice in my whole life. Have I ever seen a kid get their phone or whatever taken from them in public because they were just not acting right? You know what I'm saying? And I don't think out of either of those times, it was actually because they wouldn't put it down. I think it's because they were just being a douche. You know what I'm saying? So what is the point of this? You're not highlighting a problem with gaming. You're highlighting a problem with the parenting. Yo, listen, how would you feel if your parents took your games away? It's okay. But then you just can't play. Yeah, I know, it's insane, right? Like, w oh my god, the acting is so bad. It's like, well, if they take your game away, bro, you just can't play. Like, oh my god, isn't it crazy to think that, like, you can't play 24-7 all day, every day? Like, 95% of people aren't like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, everyone who plays games is just to the point where they can't stop pl playing and putting it down. It's just so bad. Like, it's just so bad at even trying to highlight the problem that it does. It's honestly so bad that it proves the opposite point. It's funny to me. Thank you, Good Morning America. If it wasn't for your show that is made for middle-aged moms who drink wine at 9.30 in the morning, I would have never have known that video games are slowly turning me into an addict. Do you see my point? Do you understand what I'm saying? Why don't you go ahead and tell me down below? Are, are you addicted to video games to the point that you're just a rabid animal? Like, honestly, I think I've gotten addicted to the point that if I were that kid, I would have I would have gotten down on all fours on my fucking fist and knuckles and started growling at everybody and, like, biting, you know, like a rabid beast. These videos are ridiculous, man. Th this whole thing is ridiculous. I don't think the media is ever going to make a realistic scenario that actually proves video games are bad. I think they're always just going to take these one-off examples of a mass shooting by some psychopath who killed other gamers in a tournament and that's just gonna be what they use to say video game bad. If that's the case, then isn't school bad since like 89% of all the shootings in America happen at schools or mass shootings at least? I mean, if we're going off that logic, just saying. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here, follow me on Twitter at Subtoptimus, join the Discord down below. Today I'm up, I'm double uploading on the channel. So th this is tomorrow, I get this confused anyway. So tomorrow I'll be uploading this video and then of course I'll be uploading another video which is about the copyright system and how it affected me so if you haven't seen that video uh go ahead and check my channel for that it'll probably come out before this one and i'll also be uploading over on optimus games talking about the bungie and activision split so also check that out the channel is linked on my channel as well and until my next video guys this is optimus addicted to video games and signing out